What's up guys? In a previous video, I said the offseason has been suspiciously quiet. Well, that changed yesterday when Shift dropped an absolute bomb of a report about rice from Moist Esports. That and plenty of more stuff from the other regions as well is gonna be in this video, so let's jump right into it. Yeah guys, there it is. Despite a run-up result at the RLCS Fall Major, Moist Esports is set to face a roster move ahead of the winter split. Rice is looking to leave the team. So the OG Moist Esports roster will no longer be together in any form. All three players are going to be on separate rosters if this goes through. Obviously, like with all reports by Shift, they are not 100% confirmed. Please take that into account. But this guy is usually spot on when he reports something like that. And that's why we can expect this to happen. And therefore, even though they were runner ups at the last major, they still part ways. Now before the major I would have said this kind of makes sense because they were really struggling to make the major in the first place. At the third regional they completely choked it and relied on others to get enough points to finally make the major. But then they had an incredible run, made it to the finals and now all of a sudden they still want to make a change. And it's not the new edition Astral that is supposed to leave again. It is Rice who has been with the roster before who is now set to part ways with him. So where does an incredibly high caliber player like him go? In the official report by Shift, it says he wants to stay within Europe. Here at the bottom it says and is currently looking for another European roster to join. So he's not going over to NA. I saw some people in the Discord write him maybe joining NRG or something. Uh, that is probably not going to happen. But let me know in the comments where you think he will go. Because at the moment there aren't even that many options available. Because all the European market has been very quiet so far. So this could be the start of a chain reaction here if other roster spots open now as well and then rice fills that gap and so on however i would really like to hear from you guys where you see him in the future and where you could see a spot even open up in the first place now those were the biggest news as this is a top team making a move but there are also some other teams making moves and we go over the pond to na and it says knight is set to round out the koi roster if you don't know what koi is there was a merger a while back the biggest Spanish content creator has an organization called Koi and he basically bought out Rogue and therefore all the teams are now going to be rebranded as Koi and uh, play under that banner. And these guys were struggling quite a lot in the fall split and now they wanted to make a move. Taroko was gone, was already reported, I had it in a video as well and now Knight is supposed to join. But who is Knight? Knight was on that soul roster that made the first region. I got it over here. So this move as of right now is not an insane move but this guy is 17 years old so maybe in the future they can develop something that helps them succeed but it can't really be worse than the last split because if i remember correctly they went 0 and 9 in the regional so that is something you really have to improve on the worst case scenario would be to not even make the regionals in the first place but uh, i think an organization of that size has to make the regionals now another organization that already made a move beforehand was a crew and they parted ways with both and now they want to sign t coral to round out their roster i think it's a decent move and the crew always on the brink of making these regionals you could see some progress with that as t coral has made multiple regionals before and uh, definitely is a player you can look out for as always if you have an opinion about any of these new rosters drop it in the comments i like to read about them and we move straight on with the next one as this was reported zenil is expected to join knights instead of zps entering the winter split and this was also in a previous video but we have some more news on that as zenil himself posted the it's official gif and therefore he has signed a contract players in the rocket league scene love to do that whenever they sign for someone and as it was reported that he signs with knights it most likely is exactly that contract that he is referencing here so we can be pretty certain that this will go through and we're gonna see Sinil play for pk knights next split moving on we go all the way over to mina and it is gk esports announcing their farewell from the rocket league roster it was this roster down here with tris and impressive and yet the organization does not want to continue with that roster and stuff like this in my opinion is always a little bit sad because the more organizations are in rocket league the better it is for the esport but we can take a look at the results of the team and they have been to all regionals and made a third to fourth placement 
in all three of them so they had a lot of consistency and in a region that has falcons and rule one it is quite difficult to get a better placement than a semi-final and you can see in their tournaments they always had to face one of the two and therefore the tournament runs ended there i think this roster had potential but gk didn't see it in them and the same goes for these guys it's anka esports tweeting that they're gonna part ways with their roster but their roster was not as successful the first regional they entirely missed in the second regional uh, we can find them at 9th to 11th and in the third regional they then made a proper improvement to 5th to 8th but nothing more. So Anka is not happy with how that went down and therefore they part ways with them as well. Going into the next split in Mina, we will therefore have two less organizations as of now playing the regionals, but maybe something will happen, uh, especially for that GK roster. I think this was not the end of the journey. Maybe they're gonna find new teams individually, but I could also imagine them to stick together. So guys, that is gonna be it for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video and if you did, consider subscribing to the channel. And now there's nothing more to say, but wishing you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I hope you have some great days with the family and I'll see you guys next time.